The UK has promised another $2.3 billion in military aid to Ukraine as G7 leaders prepare to meet President Zelensky to discuss additional support. It comes as Russia held a practice run on the eve of its Victory Day celebrations. A Russian soldier shouts hooray in Moscow's Red Square as his commander salutes his troops. A full-blown dress rehearsal for the upcoming parade to celebrate Russia's defeat of Nazi Germany in World War II. Victory Day might be the biggest patriotic holiday on the Russian calendar, but Putin's war on Ukraine is far from a triumph. An island in the Black Sea and a Russian landing ship is obliterated by a strike from a Ukrainian drone. But Russia could be expanding its attacks along the coast. Six missiles were fired into the southern port city of Odessa. They are barbarians with missiles, Ukrainians' president said. They have nothing that makes people human. All 300 civilians have now been evacuated from the Mariupol steelworks. The next stage is to free the wounded and medics inside. Pavel, his wife and eight children have reached safety after living in a basement for two weeks with only scraps of food. There is a fear Russia's victory parade may prompt Vladimir Putin to chase glory by renewing the fight in Ukraine. He staked so much on the choice that he made to launch this invasion um, that I think he's convinced right now that doubling down uh, still will enable him to make progress. More pressure then on Ukraine's big guns to try and slow the Russian onslaught.